Hello and welcome to our Painted Pumpkin Wood Slices tutorial. The kit you receive will include a wood slice about five to six inches with a stem already glued on. You will also receive a small one and a half to two inch wood slice. You will receive three strands of colorful twine and you will receive a strand of natural twine that you will use to string up your uh, 2.2 inch uh, pumpkin slice. You will also receive a variety of leaves. I have about six. There's six colors here and I went ahead and I hole punched them for you so you can slide them onto the twine. You will also receive a paintbrush in your kit and a cup of paint. Now in this tutorial I'm just going to use it directly from this tube but when you get the kit you will have a little cup so you don't have to worry about pouring it onto another surface. And the final thing that will be included in your kit if you ask for it is a vinyl sticker. We have a new Cricut Maker here at the library and we're eager to use it. So if you would like a personalized sticker such as a monogram, um, a word such as fall or autumn or a year like 2021 or even just your family's last name such as the Smiths or the, the Johns, anything like that. Um, but if, if you want that when you sign up for this kit, please let us know. We have a whole separate section on our uh, sign up sheet that will ask you if you want one and what color you want it. All right, so let's get on to our kit. All right, I'm gonna get started painting these and you'll notice that I'm using a tray. It's because I make a horrible mess. So I'm just gonna uh, put my paint directly onto my wood slice, but you all will have your little cup that you can dip out of. And I'm just going to just start painting it. Now, what I'm gonna do first, I'm only gonna paint the, the lighter part of my um, wood slice. That way we can still see this beautiful darker wood that is the bark. And it doesn't have to, it, if you get a little bit on that bark, it is absolutely okay. This does not have to be perfect whatsoever. And I gave you all quite a bit of paint, so hopefully it's enough to cover this and your small wood slice. And the good thing about this paint, if you wash your hands immediately after you get it on there, it will not stain. Usually it doesn't stain. It'll eventually come off your hands if you get it on there. And I recommend using either a tray like I'm doing. You can use a piece of newspaper, piece of parchment paper. You can even use aluminum foil if that's all you got. Just so that you don't make a mess and ruin a surface. And it doesn't matter what type of strokes you'd make on this pumpkin, it's yours. You can make up and down strokes, ver or vertical or horizontal, you can do diagonal, or you can go in a circle, kind of like what I'm doing here. It's whatever you want. It's your pumpkin. You paint it how you want. Just kind of work inwards if you want. You can work outwards, but I'm going to work inwards. If you look closely, I kind of have too much paint. It's not, um, it's kind of gotten to a point where it's just sitting on top of what I've already painted. So I'm going to use that on my little one. And if you, like I said, you can let it dry like that, but I'm, I want it to not have like bumpiness to it. And these little holes that are in there, you can just paint right over that. Ta-da! I've got a lot of excess paint left on my wood slice, so what I'm going to do is take a paper towel and just kind of wipe it on here. Just kind of... I don't want it to dry bumpy. And that's a good way. You can do it on a paper towel or you can do it on a piece of newspaper if you have newspaper next to you. Or if you have an old t-shirt, you don't care about getting dirty, you can do that too. You can be like those artists in the movies with their jackets and overalls just covered in paint. People will say, oh my gosh, what are you painting? You're such a good artist. 
and then they can see what you created and be super jealous and then they'll know that the library has really cool crafts and then they can come so but alrighty so what I'm gonna do now that I've got this excess paint off I'm gonna let this dry and I will come back and I will show you how uh, at least one way how to tie on the twine and put the leaves on as decoration and I will also show you how to stick your vinyl sticker onto your pumpkin all right see you in a bit okay now that our my pumpkin is dry and it has my vinyl sticker on it I'm going to show you how I'm going to strand on or put this twine onto my pumpkin and you don't I'm just like making this up as I go <laughs> So you can do it however you want to, but I'm going to tie, loop this around. I just did a double loop and then I'm going to tie it. And I'm just going to double knot it to make sure that it stays tied. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my leaves like three on one, three on this strand. And you can do whatever colors, it doesn't, it just, just whatever your preference. And then what I'm gonna do is just tie this in a knot. I'll just do that and then tie this one as well and then and if you know how to you can curl these it kind of covers up my stem so if you want you can do them a little lower um, but I don't know how to do curling. If you know how to curl something like curl, curl twine, you're absolutely welcome to. And you can tie the, you don't have to use all the leaves. You can just use a couple. I'm going to go ahead and use um, all of them. Try to get all of them through the, where I hole punched. I'm going to do this one a little lower so the leaves hang down lower. And there you go. I mean, you can't really see my stem, so maybe when you go to do it, tie your stem at a different um, length. Heck, I can probably undo this too. Yeah, you know, if you mess it up and you want to redo it, it's not too hard to pick it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. See, folks, I told you that... I just mess around until I figure out what I'm doing. And that's the beauty of doing crafts. You don't have to necessarily know 100% what you're doing. You can just... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower these a little. And then tie my knot. I'll do a double knot here so it'll stay... Double knot this side too. If any of y'all know how to curl your twine, you should totally post it so I can see. But there you go. You can just hang it on the sides like this or hang it like that. And it says iced coffee. Now for your little dude here. Um, if you want to, you can get a marker and you can like write a letter or a word. Because I didn't print off any vinyl for the little ones. But you are totally welcome to print something on that. I'm just going to show you how to tie this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot at the end of my string. And then I'm going to double knot that. And then... I'm going to 
feed this loop through the hole here if it's not too big, okay? After you feed this through, you're going to take this part here, put it inside the loop, so it's like this. Can you see how it's inside? And once it's inside, you're going to pull on it until it comes down like this. Sorry, until it comes down like this. And then you can hang it. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft. And if you are seeing this video and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna make that, just give us a call because we have decided to order more supplies. And if you would like to make this craft, you can. So just call us to sign up or go on our Facebook page for the link, or you can go on our website for the link. All right, until next time, happy crafting.